Since Mary Madeline is, of course, a longtime political strategist who recently joined the Libertarian Party, interestingly, on this program. And Stuart Stevens is a former right, senior thanks. campaign strategist for Mitt Romney's 2012 presidential bid and the author of a brilliant and extraordinarily well-timed new novel called The Innocent Have Nothing to Fear about a contested national political convention. Thank you both for coming on the but show. Where is the convention? Where, where in, in real... In, in, in real, like, New Orleans. Yes, it's in uh, the New Orleans. Where I, I think... Like the Olympics should be in one place, I think conventions should be in one place, and New Orleans should be the place. So let me ask you for this. For both conventions. I 100% agree with that. Um, let me ask you this question. Beyond the obvious publicity value, if, there, if Cleveland were to turn into a genuinely contested convention, as an actual political practitioner and strategist, what likelihood do you give to that actually happening at this point? Pretty close to zero. I, I don't see how it's going to happen short of Trump um, completely falling apart, but, or Trump deciding that he doesn't want to run, both of which seem exceedingly unlikely. So, so you've given up? Well... There's no way to stop him now, um, apart from the general election. I mean, the guy is going to be the nominee. All right, you agree with that? Today, but I will say the forces, the, the never Trump forces, are not going away. And if not to... If he can't be stopped, he can be blocked, at least philosophically, which was the whole point of libertarianism. I'm not trying to make a statement, but there are a sure number of people, an increasing number of people, increasingly vocal leaders in the party who are saying, give us something, to give us something that, some semblance of a reflection of a philosophy and principles at once we're part of the Republican Party. So if the dumb Trump crowd came to you and said, Mary, we want you as your senior strategist. we got to stop Donald Trump in Cleveland. Help us. What should we do? What would you say? I wouldn't do it. I think it's, you know my opinion on this. I think the party is already in perilous wig-like shape. And that would, it would, that would just accelerate its demise. But I would say to continue advocating for principles. And you can see some of his speeches to the extent where he's on speech number, teleprompter number two. We're hearing some echoes of some things we recognize as potential conservative philo philosophical tenets. Is Trump doing any damage to the party right now? I think he's doing tremendous damage. I mean, the, the nightmare scenario is if what happens with Hispanics mirrors what happened with African Americans in 1964. I mean, before, you guys have talked about this, you know, Republicans would get 30 to 35 percent, before 1964, of African American vote. Not great, but it's a lot easier to get the 50 from 35 than it is from what we're getting now, which is somewhere between 5 and 10 percent, usually. Um, if that happens with Hispanics uh, in this election for Republicans, it's a generational uh, disaster um, that I don't know how you recover. 